It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. Thus begins one of my books, Pride and Prejudice, published in 1813. Over the years it has conquered millions of readers and continues to represent one of the cornerstones of female writing. In this novel, history of women and feelings are perfectly inserted in the historical context that frames it. It has inspired other texts, but also films, plays and TV series. So one of those uh, novels to be absolutely known and to keep on the beside table to fantasize and get lost in the romanticism of uh, the past. Anyway, shh, I have a secret. When my first book was published, I couldn't tell anyone. I was the author in 1811. People thought it wasn't right for a woman to have a job, no matter, matter how talented she was. In my time, women had few legal rights, they totally depended on men. On the death of the fathers, the properties went to the male heirs. Funding a suitable husband was a necessity for women to be guaranteed social and financial stability. I wrote a lot of books, Sense and Sensibility. Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield, Park and Emma. I wrote two other novels, Northanger Abbey and Persuasion. Themes such as marrying, love, money, decorum, misunderstandings, obstacles and social uh, prejudices. That the protagonist must face before reaching a happy ending are the basis of my novels. Critics say my books are so heartbreaking, romantic and thrilling that they are still enjoyed 200 years later.